Internet, this is Deshinza, and I got something in the mail today. Yeah, I'm going to be doing... I'm doing an unboxing video. And review of the Drive Saga Brake Gunner set. I've honestly been wanting to do a... a unboxing video for a while now. It's just that, well, whenever I get something nice, um... Usually someone has already done it in mass, and then, at that point, why even bother, right? So I got this from CD Japan, and I got to do that because it was a DVD combination set, and they're a really good seller, retailer, I get a lot of my import games from them. And on occasion, the DVD sets. They're actually a pretty good company. Um, only issue I tend to find with them is when I... Every time I import something from them, UPS always screws up the delivery, so it is, like, stuck in being, like, thrown all across the city for days on end. And this almost happened to this. And already I'm pretty impressed by the box. Uh, yeah, it's obvious. It's, like, it's so chaser. That's awesome! It's like, perfectly silver for black and gold, and it has the DVD on this platform on the side, or, not DVD, Blu-ray. <clears throat> Breaking Hazard. B-R-E-A-K. Break. As in, you broke something, not as in, put on the brake. I can't tell if that's English or an actual pun. It can honestly go either way depending on who commissioned this. Uh, Bandai or Toei. Toei I'd say English, Bandai I'd say pun. Um, yeah, I almost want to keep this as a display on my set because it looks so good. It also makes me want to find a, the um, one of the Chaser action figures to, like, display in the same way it's, uh, Chaser's posed right here. Um, I really don't have the money for, like, high-end figures for Kamen Rider because, well, if I'm gonna buy a $50 figure, I'm gonna buy a model. You know, this looks pretty nice. Um, Blu-ray is already out of case, and... I can't wait to watch this. I mean, I'll probably be opening this with the Chaser's transformation sequence. Looks like they're, you know, already advertised for Drive Saga 2. The Mach 1. I'm waiting for more details on uh, Kamen Rider Mach's uh, planned Drive Saga entry, because I'm interested. I just want to see you know, what they're doing with the special shift cars for it. I'm curious if anyone's going to try and give us a, synop a uh, better story synopsis of the mock post-series novel. Now, I already played as Chaser in Batride War Genesis and was kind of disappointed in how Cho Masin Chaser, well, added in before this uh, movie came out, was just limited to a special attack, and that was pretty much it, which, so, which was pretty much just the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so disappointing clip with, um, how little, you know, that was like a big thing, being able to potentially play as, Mo as Cho Machin Chaser in that game, and then, no, it's just Basic Chaser, and, you know, Basic Chaser is pretty nice in that game, just that, you know, it's less than its full potential. Much less than its full potential. This is an empty box. I had to grab some batteries just in case, because I never remember quite how often uh, Bandai does double A's and how often Bandai does triple A's. Already from pictures, this is both amuses and annoys me because it almost fits my grip. I have large hands, and you know none of these um, 
none of the roleplay toys never really fit me because of how big they are. I'm tempted to take this apart and then make a mold of the hand grip and, you know, just try and upsize it with some scaling because since I work at a craft store, I can get the materials for that um, at a discount. Now, also from the images, I've already seen how they've modified this to make it different from the standard brake gunner. This ha has been shortened and is much stubbier than um, how it was rounded out, and that's to interface with the new viral core, the rhino core. Otherwise, it looks indistinguishable from the other um, brake gunners. I've sadly not had a chance to see one up close. I'm just going from general image galleries and... You know, it's a very different experience to, to actually hold in your hands than, like, seeing in an image gallery or in a video. And, of course, the Super Viro Rhino, Rhino Core. This is just ridiculous. In a good way, ridiculous. But it's like, it's so stabby. And now, the, blunt, the blunting of that is... Definitely so that this can interface properly, and I've seen from other early uh, pre presentation videos that um, it won't interface with anything else but the Drive Saga version of the brake gunner. Should have known the brake gunner will only takes triple A's. Pretty much everything I buy, kind of thing of it, um, ends up doing that with uh, Bandai toys. I. In the event I don't have any, which I don't right now, I just pull them from my mobile until I can get a set of them because, you know, pretty much interchangeable and they're easy to get out of my of my mobile since, you know, its its faceplate just pops right off and slides back in with a single tab press. I both like and dislike that cry, uh, that activation cry for it, as, well, the break your body part is just, uh, spine shiveringly cool, and then, and the, or be your human parts allows a good distinction, uh, between the Drive Saga version and the normal break gunner for, um, those that might get gypped out of the remodel of it. But the, or be a human part just, um, decreases the coolness of that entire announcement. So so it's a good plus and minuses kind of thing. Pretty much same as standard. Okay, so so hitting it again after doing hitting the brakes uh, switch activates the sound special sounds mode. Which is, which is a bunch, of course, a bunch of uh, voice sound recordings of uh, Chase's actor. I apologize, his name is escaping me off the top of my head. Yeah. Send gun. Yeah. And pretty much just leaves, continues where it started off. I'm so tempted to do the poses when they do that. I have discovered the secret of the Rhino Super Viral Core, and also what sound it would trigger in the Drive Driver and Mock Driver without actually needing to put it into either of them or, you know, take it apart to kind of hack the sounds. And, you see, the reason for that is I recognize the pin code for it. You know what the pin code for it is? The Trideron key. I should really not be surprised. You know, and 
it, don't like, don't get me wrong, I really like the Tried Run Key, I just thought it would be a combination that wasn't actually used in any of them, so wouldn't generate the same sound, but, yeah. Actually, kind of think of it, it really looks pretty good with the Tridron key in there instead of the uh, Super Viral Core. Still, um, as I didn't have the original Break Gunner, I have no idea if in it, it would just generate a the standard drive system, next system, advanced system sounds that are expected from the normal uh, applications of the driver. But still... Yeah, see? And honestly, with it in there, it looks pretty good. I mean, the blade could definitely be longer. I might end up modding that at some point as, like, something that'd be, um, I don't know, maybe make a mold of the entire thing and then make a, uh, far more extended version of it that, at, like a scene in Drive Saga, but, eh. Of course, I have shift next special for the standard drive and neck drive system next system sounds. Oh, and yes. Uh, the shape, the signal chaser shift card does do. Next system. I kind of expected to do advanced system since you know it um, sit triggers a next level set of sounds. Like uh, if you insert uh, signal chaser into the drive driver, it uh, sets off drive type get next, which is the special version of drive type next. But of course, we have some new bonus sounds from just inserting any... Yeah, that's the standard one, but if you tap front... Yeah, you don't have to actually insert all three in sequence to get that uh, trigger with this one, which, yeah, it would have been hard for the device to read like that or remember the uh, them in sequence, so I'm okay with that. What I'm not so okay with it is it being um, Chase saying it instead of the device itself, since, you know, they got the voice actor for the device back for the super viral sounds, I don't see why they wouldn't have had him record the triple tune line like they did in the show. Or hell, take the sound bite from the show. <clears throat> and because I can, and because I got one, And the device is smart enough to not recognize this as something that triggers the triple tune sound, despite it being a viral core. Honestly, in my opinion, this set was worth the money, as since about the middle of Drive, I had been wanting to buy a brake gunner, except the price for it had shot up to about $100, $120, $150 in the median range, the, like the $100 was about the middle price, and still to this day right now, it's sitting at around $100, even with this new release, which I figure would have had a bunch of people trying to sell theirs to, you know, upgrade. So, for the movie, for the updated sounds, for the new viral core, hell, for the awesome, awesome display box art, this is definitely worth your money to have pre-ordered, because 
I've already seen now that this set is going for $175, $200 by um, people that are, you know, shafting the retail industry with uh, on the resale market. So, um, yeah, I feel it's a good set, and I so want to do a cosplay of Chase now, but I'll be doing something with this in the near future. Oh, what the hell, since I'm already here. I love this thing already.